The name of this story is Pigs in the House. In their pig pen, nice and wide, three cute pigs lived side by side. Farmer Mac came in one day, fed the pigs, and spread some hay. He was running very late and forgot to lock the gate. With a breeze, it opened wide. So the pigs just ran outside. Mac was busy planting seeds. Bess, his wife, was pulling weeds. Rex, the dog, was outside too, getting all the cows to moo. No one saw or seemed to care. Pigs went up the farmhouse stairs. First the den, look what they found. Pressed some buttons, trains went round. Next, the TV, lots of noise, and a carton full of toys. In the bedroom, they don't rest. Pigs put bed springs to the test. Oh, the kitchen, bubbly shakes and three gooey layer cakes. Now the attic, look at that. Glasses, jewelry, tall top hat, and two trunks with masts and plumes. Just the thing for great costumes. Meanwhile, Farmer Mac and Bess come back in for lunch and rest. Just imagine their surprise when the kitchen met their eyes. Their fine bed looked like a sack. Their whole house was out of whack. Mac and Bess climbed up the stairs, shouting like ten angry bears. As their shouts turned to a roar, pigs stood trembling at the door. Out they raced, and what a sight. Mac and Bess jumped back in fright. Three strange creatures rushed away. No one could have made them stay. Quickly, Farmer Mac and Bess ran outside, but could not guess who it was they had to blame. Everything seemed just the same. <laughs> In their pig pen, nice and wide, pigs were resting side by side. Though it had been fun to roam, it was good to be back home. That was the story called... Pigs in the House. <laughs> That's right, Jack. And it was written by Stephen Kroll, and those funny pictures were drawn by Tim Kirk.